Hi, welcome to the studio. We're going to be talking about oil mediums today, and specifically a group of contemporary mediums called liquin. Now, oil mediums uh, are actually the things that define uh, the paint itself and came into use during the 15th century. Uh, the most common medium is uh, linseed oil. And linseed oil helps extend the paint, increase the gloss, and increase the flow. A uh, second uh, traditional oil medium is stand oil. Stand oil is a little thicker or a little more viscous, um, and it helps uh, beef up the sense of the paint a bit, and is also more slow drying, but it does increase the gloss. Now, liquid mediums do exactly the same things that traditional mediums do, but the advantage is they decrease the uh, drying time by about 50 percent. And in addition, they uh, increase the durability and flexibility of the paint fil film itself, so you actually have a more stable paint film. Now, liquid mediums come in five different varieties. The first one that I want to talk about is liquid original. And liquid original comes out as a sort of jelly. And I can take my oil paint, and you can see that the oil paint is very buttery. It has a stiffness to it. Now, to get that to flow better, all I do is mix the two together, and suddenly I've got a nice puddle of red paint. And I've increased the volume of that red paint by quite a bit. Now, Liquid Original has a slight satiny finish to it. And what I'm going to do now is use a brush and apply it to the canvas. Now, notice that even though I've extended the oil paint quite a bit, that it still preserves the richness and opacity of that cadmium red. And as you can see, that as I brush the paint onto the canvas here, that the brush strokes are disappearing and blending together. Liquid light gel is similar to original, but it has a more silky feeling and is a looser medium than liquid original. It increases the gloss uh, more than the liquid original does, and uh, again extends the paint. Now here you can see that the consistency of the light gel is very different than the original. That it comes out very much like jelly. And as you work it, uh, it becomes a liquid or more fluid. And that's called thixotropic. And uh, uh, one thing that will happen is that as I, if I let this material set for a while, it will turn back into a jelly. This time I'm going to use less red so that the transparency that the light gel can bring to the painting is more evident. You can see that uh, it, uh, even though I've used an opaque color, that is now working as a glaze. Liquid fine detail is very different than original and light gel. It's more like the original linseed oil in that it's very, very fluid and allows you to get very fine details in your work.
You can see that it runs out easily. I'm going to mix it up using just a little bit of solvent. Making a nice pool of color. And now when, I, when you do find details, you want to use a small brush. I prefer to use a round. You can see that because I'm using a fine brush, I can get very small strokes. So if fine detail is what you want, this really is the medium for you. You can see that as I squeeze this out, that the oil paint has a thick, rich, buttery quality. And this is something that we appreciate about oil paint. The impasto medium maintains that buttery quality. And as I squeeze this out, you can see that it's almost exactly the same. And I'm going to mix it up with the palette knife back and forth, and then apply it to the canvas and all those wonderful peaks and valleys and ridges that you see are preserved. And if you want that thick, rich textural quality in your painting, this is the medium for you. This time, I'm only going to put out a small amount of the cadmium red. And then add quite a large volume of the oleopasta. And as I mix this together, you can see that the cadmium red is really volumized. I've increased the amount of paint that I can use. And as I apply it to the canvas, you can see that it doesn't have the texture that the impasto medium does. So if you'd like greater volume with your paint without increasing the texture, then oleopasto is the medium for you. All liquid mediums are suitable for use with conventional oils, including Winton, Griffin Alkids, Artist Grade Oils, and of course, Oil Bar. We're lucky to be living in the 21st century. Van Eyck, Van Gogh, Rembrandt, even Picasso would kill for the quality of mediums and colors that we have. Thank you for your interest in liquid mediums, and if you have further questions or want more information, please go to our website at www.windsornewton.com or please consult our product literature.